Hi guys, welcome to the Creation of Merlin TV episode 2, The Cards of Merlin. So, in this episode of The Cards of Merlin, I'll explain to you my reasoning behind creating The Cards of Merlin, um, how I started, some behind the scenes footage, and all of that. So, I created The Cards of Merlin because I wanted to showcase the avatars of Merlin TV. So, I had the idea to create the avatars because in the first episode, I explained to you how I wanted to create my own fictional photographic universe. I wanted to create my own characters, superheroes sort of. And I thought long about how I was gonna create that, how I was gonna make that happen with, with my work. I'm realizing if I could do so many different colors of people, I could do something with that. I could make some kind of, I could make characters with that. And it came upon me that I could create, you know, something science fiction fantasy with it. And my science fiction idea was to use the avatars, the colors of the avatars as races. And um, and the best way for me to do that was to use planets. And I used planets to represent the colors of the avatars. So for example, the blue avatars represent Neptune, the yellow avatars represent the sun, the silver avatars represent the moon, the green avatars represent Jupiter, and so on and so on. To get deeper into that, as I said, I'm a huge fan of spirituality, philosophy, and metaphysics. So basically, in the fictional universe, in the fantasy world, um, I would be right now, since I am brown, I would be a third dimensional avatar. But if I decide to meditate or astral project or use psychedelics, then I will become fourth dimensional avatar. And that's when I will become red, blue, green, and I'll represent whatever planet that is. And if I decide to meditate some more, um, go really deep into it, then I'll become a fifth dimensional avatars, and that's when I become infinite. I could become whatever color. I could become red, green, blue, whatever. And to be honest with you, it is completely fine if you do not understand this. I think the stories will make you be more interested in learning the background behind this. Because I know just seeing the pictures and just me explaining right now gives you an idea, but doesn't give you the full idea. So I think when I start telling the narratives and the comics and all of that, that's when you will really understand um, the idea behind the Ascension. So I started shooting for the Cards of Merlin early 2022. I had to get 52 different models to pose for me. Um, I shot some of it in Miami and I shot most of it in New York. Shout out to every single model that participated in this. It means a lot. This is really unexpected for me. Um, I had the idea. I, I knew I was gonna get it done, but I didn't, I still didn't expect that it would happen how it happened. And I'm very grateful. Um, so thank you to every model that participated in this. I started shooting early 2022 and I had to get 52 different models for it. And I finally finished shooting uh, summer 2023. And I finished editing the whole series last year, 2023, late 2023. So basically it took me about two years to complete the whole series. And my initial idea was to do the Cards of Merlin every single year, but um, from shooting 52 different people, um, I'm realizing it is not reasonable or, you know, it just wouldn't make sense. So I'm thinking I am going to do this again, but sometime in the future. So the Cards of Merlin, they are for sale on my website, Merlin.tv. If you do get them, if you do decide to purchase them, you are contributing to the creation of Merlin TV and the expansion of Merlin TV. Thank you so much for watching this episode. In the next episode, Photography as Performance, I will give you my take on how I approach photography and my art in general. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, at Merlin TV, and check out my website, Merlin.tv. And yes, thank you so much. Have a great day and night.